What's up guys, it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome to Gran Turismo Sport. Yes, it is finally here. After about two years of waiting, uh, GT Sport has, at least the beta version, the demo version has dropped for PlayStation 4. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to just give a quick overview of what you can kind of expect here and uh, give my thoughts so far on the demo. So we are just given a limited selection of cars and tracks for the time trial mode for the time being, and uh, some features have been disabled as well, but uh, there's enough for us to kind of drive and get a sense of what the game is about. So uh, I guess first and foremost, the thing you'll notice is the graphics look absolutely fantastic. I think uh, Polyphony Digital and Sony have done a great job. And uh, by the way, greatest load screen ever. Just wait for it. Is that not fantastic? All right, let's do a quick drive and we'll talk about it. So I have left uh, everything factory for the time being. As you can see, the graphics are just simply phenomenal. I'm not sure there's a better word to describe it. So this game looks beautiful. Sound-wise, if you have a decent set of headphones, which I do, this game is no slouch either. It sounds really, really good. I want to, uh, as much as possible, stay away from comparisons to other games. The reason being is I have tried that with uh, Project Cars 2 in my reviews of that game, and it seemed to make me more enemies than friends. Not that I'm concerned about my own popularity, but uh, I just think in a lot of senses it's not fair to compare. as objectively as possible, but we all do come with our own biases, so uh, I'll do my best with no guarantees. So my thoughts on the drivability of this game, I mean I've been a Gran Turismo fan for, uh, man, how long? It's like close to two decades I guess. I remember when the first one came out and how mind-blowing that was. So admittedly, uh, I wanted this game to succeed in drivability. And uh, to me it does, I really enjoy driving this game. I've got assist turned on right now because it comes like that by default. And uh, the car feels very, very stuck, I will say that. Uh, I should probably dial the uh, assist back a bit. Not to say there's anything actually wrong uh, with the game. I actually enjoy the handling. I think it feels pretty great. And having driven all six previous titles in the series, I think there were six, um, I can tell you they have done big work in getting this up to where it is. It feels very, very good. Had a bit of understeer there, tapped the brakes, and then got back in line. So yeah, all in all, I'm just really, really enjoying this game. I've put in, uh, today's October 10th, so I've had it for a day, and I put in as much as I could on it yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I've just been very, very happy with what I've seen so far. And this is just the demo version, I think the, uh, real version when we have the, uh, Full selection of cars and tracks. I think it'll be even better. The 
concentrating on trying to beat my ghost here. So yeah, just all in all, it was pretty awesome. And I'm happy with the work uh, Polyphony and Sony have done here. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.